Hi guys, my name is Valerie from Valerie Visuals and I'm an illustrator, graphic and motion designer. And today we're going to learn how to make this cool text design using the liquify effect in Procreate. Okay, so first let's start with the choose the right brush. Go to airbrushing and choose soft brush. Then choose a color. Uh, it's uh, really don't matter what color we're choosing right now. We just uh, need to create a colorful palette. I'm increasing the size of the brush and let's add our colors. And now go to adjustments and choose Gaussian Blur. And then in increase the Gaussian Blur a little bit. Then go to liquify. And this is where the magic happens. We need to choose the push brush, increase the size and start to smudge all the colors one with each other. Great. Now choose the twirl, twirl right and increase the size of the brush to the maximum and then press in the middle. We need to create a psychedelic kind of background right now. Try to push everywhere in the canvas and make sure the momentum is on maximum. You can choose now twirl le left and it's uh, really how you liked it guys. You don't need to do it uh, like me exactly but uh, you need to get the idea that uh, in the beginning you need to start with the big brush size and then go and uh, reduce the size of the brush and continue liquify the colors like this you see when you take a uh, too little uh, size of the brush it's creating uh, for me it's not beautiful so I prefer to do it with a big size brush like this now go to adjustments and let's uh, Make some color corrections. You can choose any colors that you want here. Increase the situation. I am uh, leaving it like it is. Go to color balance. Choose, choose the highlights and the uh, Try to make a color that you're going to like. Okay, after we're creating our liquefied background, uh, we need to create our text. So let's turn off this uh, background layer. choose a black color for the text go to actions add add text here you can write everything you want I want to write a uh, colors then go to edit style make sure you click on this icon if you want uh, a big letters play around with uh, different uh, parameters here to understand what uh, each parameter do
let's put our text in the middle and now we can uh, turn on back our background put it on the top of uh, our text and then go click on the background and choose clipping mask then you can duplicate this color layer put it behind the text and then duplicate the text too choose the down uh, layer then go to adjustments hue saturations and take the brighter brightness the minimum and then go to Gaussian blur choose Gaussian blur and adjust the blur as you want you see guys this is creating a kind of shadow effect now with the transform tool let's uh, move our shadow to this area we can uh, duplicate the layer of the shadow and uh, let's move him a little bit to this area and now we can make it a, a white shadow this time take the brightness to the maximum now uh, merge the layers go to adjustments gush and blur adjust a little bit of gush and blur and then add some noise to this shadow not too much just a little bit like this you see guys looking kind of nice you can also add a, a little bit a noise effect on this layer you see not too much just like that and now let's add a grain texture shading to our text and if you want to learn more about grain texture shading techniques I highly recommend to you guys to see my previous tutorial about grain texture shading I leave a link for this tutorial in the description below duplicate the text okay so for the beginning we need to go to adjustments go to hue saturation and take the brightness to the maximum level next go to layers and uh, if you press and hold on the V icon it's only going to leave us with this layer exactly I change the background color for you guys so you can see now click on this layer and activate the alpha lock now you can uh, go and choose the right brush the brush is in touch ups noise brush adjusting the size choose the color that you want I think I go on the blue one darker blue and then start to painting this you see guys this is create a grainy texture it looking kind of nice Then choose brighter color, uh, reduce the size of the brush and uh, start to paint here in the edges. Now if we press a uh, long press on the V icon, we're going to see the all layers again. Then you can uh, deactivate the alpha lock now go to the colors layer and activate again the clipping mask now click on the N icon and choose linear burn you 
see guys this is creating uh, this kind of effect but uh, for now it is a uh, really really hard effect and we need to soft it a little bit so go to adjustments opacity and reduce the opacity a little like that you see guys this is looking kind of nice and uh, for the final touches you always can uh, go to the colors layer and uh, adjust the colors as you want the same thing for the background layer i think this color these colors is better okay guys this is this is it for this tutorial and this is the animation that i created in after effects and if you want to learn more about After Effects, you can check out my previous videos on YouTube. I have a playlist only for After Effects. Uh, have a nice day guys. If you find this tutorial helpful, you can subscribe to my channel for more cool tutorials in the future. See you next time guys.